Now let's get underneath it here and check out the rear drive motor, the LDU. So on this one, this customer said that it has an LDU in it, but I told him it doesn't. It has, says on the option codes, it has X025, which is a small motor to my understanding. But I told him if you want me to crawl underneath it and take a look at it, I will. So that's what we're gonna do today. I kind of wanted to get a video of it anyways, because I don't have a video of that particular thing anyways. I'm gonna get it up in the air, lift up the back end, pull off the rear undercover, pull out this small little speed sensor, check for any fluid, contamination, anything like that. So let's get into it. Gotta back this baby up a little bit more. I wanna be able to shut the garage. That should be it. Should be all we need. Yeah, now I can shut the garage and start the AC. Oh yeah, we're good to go. All right, first things first, air conditioning. We're in Florida, baby. It's probably, I don't know, 85 in here right now. But the problem is now you can't hear me. So everything else from this point on is gonna be voiceover. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna get the car jacked up. So I do just two jacks on both sides with a little puck uh, to make sure that I'm not pushing on the bottom of the car, denting it or anything like that. You don't need them, but if you got them, might as well use them. So yeah, I got the one side up, get the other side up. I like to get it up nice and high, mainly because I was doing this video too. You don't need it to go this high, but it makes it a little bit easier to get underneath it there. So now we're looking at all the different uh, screws so you got screws and clips. So I'm going to pull out the clips first. So you got those three right there that go across the back. And then these are kind of difficult. If you take the tires off, it's a little easier, but then you got to take the tires off. So those two clips on both sides and the fender wells, if you just reach underneath of them with a flathead screwdriver, you can just prime right out. So that's what I'm doing there, getting those out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is get a 10 millimeter socket that's well, like glitching so take the 10 millimeter socket and get those out there's a total of seven of those i must have put this in too fast it looks like i'm just glitch 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 all right so the next thing we're gonna do is lower that rear tray down now you're gonna take that and pull it down towards you and so as soon as i did that i said oh crap it really does have an ldu i was wrong and so i text the guy i said you were right man i have no problem being wrong so anyways, on the left hand side here on the driver's side is where the speed sensor is. So what I'm doing right now is releasing the wire that goes into it with a little clip. And then you have a one 10 millimeter bolt. And so it's easier with a, like a ratcheting wrench to get it up in there. Cause it's a pretty tight little space. And so you're just going to loosen that one 10 millimeter bolt, as you can see it right there with the arrow pointing to it. So once you get that out, then you want to kind of clean off the area in case there's any, any oil or anything like that. You don't want it going into the motor in case it's actually good, which spoiler alert, this one isn't clean that area off and then use a flat blade screwdriver. Now this is plastic. And so you don't want to crack it. So if you meet any resistance, which I did, uh, you just move to a different area cause you want it to slide out. There's the O ring. It's a perfect circle. So you want to try to bring it out as a perfect circle. And so just kind of move around the sensor to get it to slide out and not get crooked inside of there. Now, as you can see here, this one has some corrosion, a lot of corrosion on it. And that's why I didn't want to come out very easily. So that's what it looks like. That is not good. That means that there is coolant inside of this motor. Uh, it's a bunch of corrosion, calcium and everything. I started to clean it off and then I realized that I need to leave that on there because this customer is actually going to be taking it to Tesla. So leave it as it is. So now I ended up getting this, uh, this boroscope endoscope. I got this out the TikTok shop, uh, for like 20 bucks. And actually I love this thing. I used to have a different one that was a lot harder to use, but this one comes with this fancy little screen and I think it was like 20 bucks. I've never ordered anything off the TikTok shop. So this is one of my first purchases. And so anyways, I just want to look inside there. You can see the corrosion and I ended up sending this over to the customer so that he could take it to Tesla and say, Hey, look, there is stuff in there. So it's pretty nasty. And so this, uh, this will have to be replaced. So we're going to put the coolant sensor, I'm sorry, the speed sensor back in. It shouldn't be cool. You need a coolant sensor in there cause you don't want coolant in there, but put the speed sensor back in and you want to make sure that obviously the holes align on the bottom for the screw hole. So now I'm just 
working it around, trying to get it to slide in. And now I'm going to take my screwdriver and just push it in so it's nice and flat. Tighten up the bolt, the one 10 millimeter bolt, and then hook up your wiring harness. So now from this point, we're going to put the rear panel back on. So you're going to slide it into that lower valance holder. So you're going to slide it up in there. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. There you go. And then start putting your bolts in. So work the bolts in. It's weird how it glitches like that. I should have checked that before I started uh, voiceover in it. But hopefully it doesn't bother you. So anyways, you're going to tighten those all up. Then put your clips in. Once you get all your clips in, you're going to be pretty much wrapped up. So put the ones in the fender well. So you got the two on each side. And then you're going to take your jack off. Take your jack. Oh God, not your jack off. Take your jack out. And there you have it. We'll go ahead and remove this front wheel chalk. Making sure that we are clear. Show you my clearance there. Open up the garage door. Let the light in. Tell the customer she's ready for pickup. All right, so that's it. So if you come across a situation where you're about to be out of your warranty and you think that you may have a problem with your large drive unit, you don't even know if you have a large drive unit, crawl underneath there and take a look. I told this customer, I told him he didn't have a large drive unit. I looked it up on his option codes and it showed option X025, which showed a regular motor. And uh, he did some other research and he came back to me and he said, look, I think it's got the LDU. I said, well, there's only one way to figure it out. Crawl underneath there and look at it. So it's literally, what, seven bolts and a couple of those pins. You drop that pan down and as soon as you drop it, you see two large cylinders, silver cylinders. Uh, that's the LDU. And you go right to the speed sensor, pop the speed sensor off. And if it's got rust, corrosion, calcium, anything like that inside there, uh, you got an issue because it should be completely clean. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy.